As promised, here's a short lecture, video lecture on the ballistic pendulum. This was a problem that was assigned in the homework for the lecture notes. And I'm not going to go through every step, but I will be going through the necessary information to identify the fill in the blanks for when you have to go and actually do the calculations to do them. Um, I will be sending the masses out at a later time tomorrow morning on a separate email because I just noticed my scale at home doesn't go to the tenths. And we, we're reading that second, second decimal, that first decimal place. So what I go through first is the equations to use. There's only two equations. We have momentum. And energy. Momentum is easy. M1, V1. M2, V2. V combined. Okay. Now, this, this would be considered an inelastic equation. Inelastic collision. Collision last two. Eh. That's why I do math. <clears throat> inelastic collision. And in the range, you should have read that inelastic collisions, although momentum is conserved, energy is not. Okay. So let's look at the energy here. With our energy, we have two energy equations. We have kinetic energy and potential energy. Kinetic energy, one half some mass times the velocity squared. Potential energy, mgh. Okay. Now we'll work with the pendulum. So basically what we're having here is a ball bearing that's going to be launched hit the pendulum and of course what's going in here is all kinetic what's leaving is going to be a impulse that's going to drive the pendulum to a, on an arc to a point where it stops now of course <clears throat> excuse me in the beginning we have max velocity no height at its upper peak of arc, no velocity, all height. So when this area is, when this, these two equations equal each other, is basically at beginning and the end. And of course the end is gonna be the height. Okay. So we have momentum, we have energy, we have a ball bearing, it's going to be launched out of a gun, hit the pendulum, swings up to a, to a height, and of course, an angle. Now let's do this, let's do our, our energy balance here. Okay, okay initially we have, we have momentum. of the ball bearing plus momentum of the pendulum, which by the way, at the start of zero, <clears throat> is going to equal the combined momentum, which is ABC. So a ball is running at, this, at a certain mass, certain velocity, hits a pendulum at a certain mass, certain velocity, any last collision, so the masses combine into a new mass, and of course it would have a, a velocity there. Okay, now this guy carries over into my energy equation. Because now the pendulum starts off 
with this most with this arc kinetic energy, of course one half combined mass, velocity combined, and now reach a final height. Of now the combined mass with gravity and the height gives us now a its potential energy. Okay, these are two these are two equations we have. So now let's work backwards. Okay. Okay. I know I can I can measure that I can measure that I don't know that same as before measure it gravity is a constant and h I can measure we will measure. So when all is said and done. Do a little algebra. Of course, these guys cancel, and we get simply my velocity at the beginning is just two gh with the velocity squared, which means velocity is just. So those, those are velocity. Now that's, the velo now that's the velocity of the pendulum just as it starts to swing. Okay. So now let's take this guy and let's put him back up here. So let's see. So that's a zero. So now that gives us what? M1, V1 equals M1 plus M2, 2GH. And finally, it looks like our launch velocity So that's the boundary equation we'll be using to find the velocity of the ball bearing as launch point. Okay. Yeah.